Hello once again all my fellow comic heads out there in the YouTube comic community. It's Matt, Comic Quarter 410, and I'm here today to share with you my CGC Signature Series slabs that I just got back in the mail this week. Um, I submitted these books at the beginning of September at Baltimore Comic Con. I'm pretty happy. Um, the lowest grade I got is an 8.0, so that's great. And I even knew that book was probably going to come back at a 7.5 or an 8. Um, I just just wanted an uh, authenticated signature from that creator because I'm a fan. And, um, you know, sometimes you get a book that comes back a little lower grade than you thought, which I got one that was slightly lower than I had predicted. But sometimes you get a book or two that's on a higher grade than you would expect, and that happened too. So overall, pretty happy with my experience. Um, to start out, here's my New Mutants 87. It's first appearance of Cable. Got its signature series by Louise Simonson. Her and her husband are always super nice. It's always nice to talk to them. This got a 9.0 with white pages. And this is my copy I bought off the rack when I was like 13 years old. So it's pretty cool. Um, knew, again, knew this book wasn't going to get a near mint grade, but I had to have a Thor signature series by Walt Simonson. This is Thor 344, the first appearance of Malekith. And uh, got an 8.0 with white pages. There's Walt's awesome signature. And I uh, got this in a trade with my good buddy Vin Crew 12,000. So thanks a lot for that, Mike. Glad to have uh, Walt Simonson signed Thor in my collection now. Um, Adam Hughes was there. I'm a big fan of his, big fan of Vampirella. So I got my 1992 Vampirella number one signature series. And I got a 9.6 with white pages. Again, this is a copy I bought off the rack. I read this book multiple times. So if you handle your books carefully, wash your hands, and read them in a clean area, you can still read your books and get back uh, a high grade. So that's very cool. Love that cover. And also got Adam Hughes to sign my Star Wars Purge one shot. I'm a big fan of this book. I have another copy signed by David Prowse. It's an amazing read. It was super hot at one point. But uh, you can probably get it for 10 to $20 now, and it's a must-read for any Star Wars fan. Adam signed it there. It came back at a 9 fourth weight pages. And in just this one shot, I don't know if you can read it there, it says, Death of Soy Choi, Baltar Swan, Dama Maltalavo, Shade, Roblio Darte, Sealan Wes, Ma Kees, Kofi, and Jastus. So Darth Vader kills all those Jedis in this one issue great read and reminds you why Darth Vader is a badass. I uh, was super happy to get this signature series. I'm a huge Matt Wagner fan, huge Grendel fan, and Matt Wagner was just so nice and he saw my primer too right there in a very cool location. I really like that signature placement. Uh, this got a 9.2 with white pages. It's first appearance of Grendel. It's hard to see. It's a really sharp copy but it does have some spine ticks. They're really small. But it has some, there's one at the bottom below where it says spirit, but they're very faint, but there's a few that break color. And uh, so I'm glad it came back in a 9.2. It could have possibly got like an 8.5, but I'm glad it got a 9.2. In this case already, it came back with a scratch in it. I felt it's not a crack, but it's a pretty deep scratch on the case. So who knows, maybe I'll send it to them and make them re-encapsulate it for all the money they charge us. Um, this is my Firestorm number one. Got its signature series by Al Milgram. And uh, it's the only one that didn't come back white pages. It's off white to white, but it got a 9.6. And a quick story on this. Um, I almost didn't submit it. I had the girl waiting in line with me. And Al Milgram's super cool. He's super animated, friendly. We, you know, talking to everybody, joking. You could tell he was having a good time, which is really cool. Because some artists you meet, and it's kind of a letdown. They could just give a crap less that they're talking to a fan. But Al Milgram was just having a great time you know, meeting people that liked his work and even the guys at the Hero Initiative table, they're like, man, he'll just start talking to somebody and run off and we'll be like, where's Al? He's supposed to be signing. It's just like a social butterfly, but he's really animated and cool, but he's not only a little rough on my book, he's sitting there eating um a hot dog with mustard and french fries while he grabs my book and uh, he definitely bent it a little bit. He's a little rough with it and, you know, it's my fault. I should have window bagged it. I don't really care because it still miraculously came back at a 9.6. Even if it came back at, a, you know, a five, I wouldn't care because Al Milgram is so cool. And it's about having a signed Al Milgram uh, authenticated book in my collection. But 
it definitely, if you can see it, see it right there, it rolled and bent a little bit going parallel to the spine. You can kind of, there you go. You can definitely see it. It didn't break color, but to me, I'm kind of shocked it still came back at a 9.6, but uh, I'll take it. And Al Milgram's cool. If you ever have a chance to talk to him, talk to him about his, the US-1 comic. He had a great laugh about that. Moving along, this is my limited edition variant to Ghost Rider number 1. Signature series by Garth Ennis with white pages at a 9.6. And um, if, you get, if you're even a casual Ghost Rider fan, this is an amazing six-issue mini. The writing's great, but uh, Clayton Crane fully paints the interior of every issue. He's working on um, Rye for Valiant Comics right now, and it's just beautiful, beautiful art. So uh, definitely give this a read if you if you like Ghost Rider or good painted art. I'm a huge Punisher fan, and this may be my favorite Punisher storyline of all time. Punisher Volume 3, number 1. I think this storyline's called Welcome Back, Frank, or Welcome Home, Frank. But um, it's it's the Preacher team, Garth Ennis and Steve Dillon, with these amazing Tim Bradstreet covers. Just love this series. It's not the most valuable book, but I'm just so stoked to have Garth Ennis's Punisher number one signature series in my collection. And it got a 9-2 with the white pages. So very happy to have that as a Punisher fan. Greg Capullo was there. Uh, he's not an easy person to get to. The last two times he's been at Baltimore is like a three-hour wait for him. I was lucky I got to him on Sunday and I only waited in line for about a half an hour. He's super cool. Um, I also got my Spawn 18 and 19 signed, and I was debating on whether to submit my Spawn 18 or this. And I went with this just because I love the cover. This is my Justice League number 3, 1 and 25 variant. And I uh, came back in a 9-6 with white pages, and Greg Capullo signed it there. Really like the choice of red ink and... Just love this cover. Just a beautiful, beautiful cover. Very happy with that one. And of the 14 books I submitted, one came back at a 9.8. Seems like 9.8s are getting a little more rare these days, even on modern books. CGC seems to be scrutinizing the books a little harder when they're in that grade, but maybe not this grade. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know what the reason is. Maybe more competition in the marketplace, maybe more people submitting books, who knows. But yeah, out of 14 books, got one 9.8. It's my new 52 Batman number one. Uh, got white pages as well. Signature series by Greg Capullo. And again, this is a book that I read. So I read it, put it back, and uh, still got a 9.8 on it. So that's pretty awesome. Very happy with that. And... Last but certainly not least, I was stoked to meet Dave Gibbons. He was supposed to be at Baltimore Comic Con last year. He had to cancel, so I was glad he made it this year. I got him to sign my Watchmen for it. Came back at 8.5 with white pages. I don't really see what the problem is. The back cover is nice, too. It's hard to see. I really apologize about the lighting in here. I haven't found a good place in my new home to do to get good lighting for filming unless it's in the daytime when I have daylight. The only flaw is that small smudge underneath the staple that I can see and very minute rubbing on the top corner. I put this book closer to a 9-2 but that's just me. Still very glad to have it. It's the uh, origin of Dr. Manhattan and last but not least I got my Watchmen 12 Signed by Dave Gibbons also. Came back at a 9.4 with white pages. And uh, this is the final issue of Watchmen in the quote-unquote death of Rorschach. So, yeah, pretty happy with uh, how everything turned out. Uh, things can always be worse. No matter what you're talking about at life, things can always be worse. worse. So uh, I try to be happy with what I got. So thank you all. As always, for your time, I always appreciate you stopping by. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and enjoy your comic book reading.